What's going on, guys? Um, there was a comment that someone made. I cannot find it. So if it was you, please comment that it was you. Um, the comment was basically asking me to touch on the subject of ear cropping. So we're going to touch on that subject a little bit. It is a touchy situation or a touchy topic. So, um, yeah, some people love it. Some people hate it. Some people don't really care about it. But I will let you know, I do crop every dog in my camp ears. And there is a reason for that. So um, in some breeds, cropping ears does help with bringing the risk of ear infection down. In some breeds, it doesn't. Uh, some states ban ear cropping. Some states don't. Um, some breeds, they are better off with cropped ears while others, you know, it doesn't matter. So, for example, short, uh, short hair dogs like Cane Corsos, Dogo Argentinas, Pit Bulls, um, American Staffordshire Terriers, um, American Bullies. Um, they're meant to be working dogs. They were bred to be working dogs. So it was a good reason for them to have their ears cropped. Uh, when you have hunting dogs, it is not a good idea to have floppy ears because if you're tussling with a hundred pound boar and they get a hold of this, that's it. If they get a hold of your tail, that's it. So that's where ear, ear cropping and tail docking came about uh, for those breeds, those specific breeds like, you know, cane corsos and stuff like that. Dogs that were bred to be uh, hunting dogs or fighting dogs, their ears were cropped and their tails were docked to keep from their opponent slash their prey or whatever they were hunting or fighting um, from getting the upper hand on them from grabbing either ears or tail. Um, but in today's market, yes, people are doing it for cosmetic looks, and that's not uh, always good. For my purpose, I have multiple dogs in my camp, and they're very playful dogs. So what do they like to grab? Ears. What else? Tails. Now, I don't dock tails because the tail is, you know, it's a lot more sturdier than an ear. But if a puppy gets a hold of this on another puppy and rip it, that's a $1,000 vet bill. If um, they get ear infections, which ears on pit bulls and um, American bullies, they're more prone to. That's a, you know, repeatedly going back to the vet, getting medicines and treatment and all of that. Because this flap being over the ear, um, it keeps the moisture from drying out. That's the pro of having ear cropping. The con is because the ear canal is always open, it's prone to getting more dirty. So it's a pro and a con to being ear cropping and Everybody say thank you to my little buddy for, you know, being such a great um, demonstrator. He did a good job. Uh, this also happens to be the puppy that we're using in the giveaway that you guys have a chance to win. So you see how calm and collect he is. He's a very, very uh, beautiful puppy. Say bye.